Good morning. I don't know if I'm doing anything better to save this yarn or not, but it's gonna be something. I'm auto wrapping it with some sparkle yarn and some bright yellow woolly nylon. I'm hoping that would do something. I do like the bright blue colors in this yarn that that actually is like the only thing which went right the rest everything in this yarn was pretty sad was fugly it was way too fugly and I'm trying my best to make it even more fugly let's add some yellow and some glitter like how ugly can you make this thing really that's the goal and I have um, and I'm not done yet surprisingly You can see how it's turning out. The colors, uh, I think what really made it worse was uh, me adding yellow and black into the bat and it just turned into this weird olive green and then there was some neutrals added to it so it just made it yeah a little bit of glitter in the morning hopefully we'll save the day but don't keep your hopes up almost done with this and then I want to try something which I haven't tried before Uh, which is wrapping this with silk silk hankies yeah as you can see I'm not done yet with this and I have some really bright yellow hankies which I'm thinking I will glaze over this Do you think I'll be successful in making it even more uglier? I'm open to suggestions.
No. Let, let it get a little bit more uglier. Not going to stop so quickly. The <laughs> Did you see uh, me adding lights to this yarn? Were you there yesterday? I don't I don't remember. So this was this was me trying to attempt to save it a little bit and uh, where is it going? so there it is it's spiral plied it doesn't look much right but look at it it has lights uh, let me turn off this light then you can see the lights on it so I put fairy lights into the yarn I like how they glow through the yarn. Uh, this was so that people just look at the lights and go like, oh wow, such a cool yarn, and actually don't look at the yarn. Uh, I'll just leave it down there with the lights on. But I need light. <laughs> and I don't know how long the batteries of these things last, so I should probably turn it off but yeah so that was sorry for the bright light but hopefully you can see this yeah so I, uh, the attempt was to uh, put lights in it to cover up the yarn and I was like, no, there is really no saving this thing. Let's just let's just go all out ugly. It's definitely doing something. Yeah, see now that is like there are orange green. I think I put like every color in this yarn. I wasn't thinking while making the bat. I was just like, I just want to make something just want to throw something on it you know when you just throw anything on it sometimes it does make trash but uh, it's fine and sometimes you just keep trying your best to make even more trash don't know why so necessary to do so but apparently it is for me it's the state of the mind I hate it when that happens so I like that bully nylon but the cones of it are wound in a very weird way have more of this left I think this bobbin should be enough of ugly but then I plan to spiral ply this as well <laughs> told you I wasn't done need to keep the ugly going No, it's not ugly enough. Not yet. Hmm. 
see and that is pink in it i think my favorite part is this these blue sections that i like but overall that bloom might as well not be there I wish there was a solution for my wheel for spiral ply yarn not to get stuck in these tones. And now for the next step, since I do plan to spiral ply it again, it's going to be even worse. But hey, it's not easy to make ugly yarn. It takes a lot of effort. I know I titled this post trying to make ugly yarn or saving ugly yarn. There is no saving ugly yarn. Not this one. Maybe by, by some weird luck I might be able to but don't hold your breath. I don't mind it getting extra twist in it. Am I having fun? I don't think this is fun. What makes you think I'm having fun, Wendy? Making a complete fool out of myself. Maybe it's fun for you. Okay, I'm at the end of this madness. Thank goodness for that, right? spin up a little bit. Bye Wendy. Okay. You're missing the best part. Going to make it even more uglier. So it's moved from one kind of ugly to another kind of ugly which I think I need to take a picture of so we can show the stages of ugliness. Take a picture of this ugly mess. And then see if we can make it even worse. Let's try to make it even more ugly. How about that? Um, I need to get something first, which I think is in this bin. And yes. 
I want to try How about some freaking orange over it? Do you think it'll be ugly enough? What I have here are these silk hankies. Before I actually open them up, let me do a switcheroo and move to the next bobbin. Since the yellow color is kind of getting so dominant in it, I think I'm just gonna stay with it and don't miss my ugly leader too. It's a yarn I was testing out and I was like, oh yeah, this would be cool to do. And I was like, okay, I'll do it sometime. And I never got around to finishing it. And now it's my permanent leader on, <laughs> on this bobbin. So bad. So very bad. There we go. Okay, let's see. This will be going clockwise to extension. Okay. We shall see if this works. a lot of twist into this let me think what I want to do I think I'm going to spiral ply this I'm going to add more twist to this by passing it through the wheel again in the same direction while glazing it and then I will and and then I will do that rick rack kind of yarn. Let's see if that so right now I'm just going to not do much except uh, add more twist in it. So I'll continue turning it in the anti-clockwise direction as I did and see I oh, don't want too much tension here I just want to yeah, add more twist to this yarn so for that maybe I should move it down to that pulley Why am I adding more twist? Because I want to make a rick rack. I want it to be enough twist that it plies onto itself. And then I'm going to try making like a rick rack kind of yarn. Uh, I don't think I have any samples of it here. We are going for the super ugly look, so... Uh, I'm just wondering if I should let me, let me glaze it while I'm doing this since it is going through the wheel and I do want to try glazing uh, let's see if this works so first the goal is trying to get one hanky out from this I think this is it
yeah definitely getting to make a very ugly yarn so hope you all are having fun watching this and that's a bit too much tension maybe okay, let me move on to the slow pulley itself because since this is something new I'm trying, I don't want to go overly crazy with it. I isn't it going on the bobbin? Yeah, that's because of my wheels crazy setup i need high tension uh, come on go on the wheel case you were reading the title of this uh, live feed that I'm trying to save ugly yarn it apparently I'm trying to make it worse so It's going to be such an ugly yarn. The question is whether I can make it any more uglier. so much trouble with this yarn going on the bobbin it's so ugly it doesn't want to go on the bobbin I think that's what it is so I don't know if the orange silk glaze is even doing anything so i'm not i'm going to do it only while this while like you know this hanky is still going on once this hanky is done then i will just add that extra twist that i wanted to see if I can actually make that rickrack yarn that I actually want to make but <laughs> doesn't look like anything is gonna go as planned with this yarn who else is enjoying this madness
Come on, go on the bobbin. My wheel is refusing to take this yarn on. Like it's just too ugly. Stop, please. done with the silk hanky let's now just try to put that extra twist in the yarn and see okay. oh boy the wheel is just going like this is too much work that extra twist in it so that come on dude just is behaving it's like please don't try any more stunts and the thing is is like I want to add that extra twist because I want it want it to kind of fly on itself I want it to be uh, boy, even my slider keeps giving up on me We're almost towards the end. Looks like all the pink nips have all fallen off. Which is one thing I wanted to test in this yarn. In this bat actually that how good do the nips, the wool nips stay. Because I've heard that they usually are troubled to stay on and I can clearly see that. Like most of them would fall into the ground. Okay, now we're towards the end of this. I've added extra twist and added some uh, orange hanky glaze on it and now I want to see if we can take it a step further since you know 
I have completely lost it. How do you like my makeshift lazy gate down there? I have a, a you know, I have two nice lazy gates, but my jumbo bobbins don't fit on it. And uh, on one of them, they do actually fit on it. But uh, when I'm spiral plying yarn, I kind of don't want... Um, when I spiral ply uh, I don't want any tension on the gate and the one on which my jumbo bobbin does fit in it sits at an angle so there is just the weight of the bobbin and that angle provides some tension and that doesn't work well for spiral plying at least for me it doesn't when I'm doing like regular yarns and stuff it's fine but only when I do spiral plying that angle of it messes things up now i need to put the bobbin on the other side when i go clockwise i feel that this helps me it's all these weird things okay so we are gonna have another yarn joining in and we'll see if that extra twist will make the spiral yarn the rickrack yarn that I wanted to make doing it not really but I do like what's happening like all that sparkly and that uh, light colored yarn is kind of bubbling up now that is interesting let's keep going on Maybe I didn't have enough tension on it. I don't know. Uh, let me try. Let's change the rules. Let's move the bobbin on this side. Sometimes these things make a difference, believe it or not. So, okay, there we go. Don't, don't, you don't want tangles happening. Okay, let's see if this helps. like I have created some kind of a tangled mess here so let's just let that go and see if we can s try and s see something happening forward hey Avenita <coughs> uh, I'm just uh, not trying to save my ugly yarn in case you thought that's what's happening in this video I'm just trying to make it more ugly and um, so hoping that works yes we are definitely making it uglier
trying my best, Avenita. You know. Sometimes you just have to. Like, how much more uglier can you do? to just now see this is why um, I wish I had a different kind of wheel which had maybe a Delta office I know I guess you know what I'm hinting at this wheel come on. no 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 you don't want to do that you don't come on Turn away, turn away, there we go, yeah that made such a big difference, right, no, yeah, yeah the, my yarn keeps getting caught in these hooks which is super annoying, and it's not like the, it's not big enough, it is big enough, but uh, yes I want an aura, Go ahead, enable me to get that wheel. You don't have to enable me. I'm already convinced that that's the wheel I need. Next. I just don't have the funds for a wheel like that right now. Unless I get one for 30 bucks. <laughs> I've seen some cool things being done even on the spin illusion uh, wheels, like for making ugly yarn, not ugly yarns, but very textured yarns. And um, I just find it very limiting. Like you can see how much I'm struggling. And there is one thing which is, can you see these hooks which are almost like wires here? Whenever I'm making spiral and textured yarns, this is where they get caught. And even if I increase the tension too much, the tension increases so much that my sliders start moving back and forth. Yeah, or uh, most likely. Uh, the thing, I don't know the kind of sliders that the aura has, but I know the spin, spin illusion has those pegs which are rounded because of which these textured yarns kind of just wrap around easily and I would maybe like to change these out somehow to make it work but I'm also scared of trying something weird on this wheel because I do like to make all my other yarns on it but once they get super textured like this it just goes like nope not happening. I have to like baby feed it through. I am liking the... There are sections of it which I have started liking. It's a huge ring. Is it a flat ring or is it like even this is a huge ring like you know it's I can put my whole not full finger but at least halfway through my finger there but because it's so thin the texture gets caught up that's what happens so the yarn can go through but if it was like a flatter uh, thing then I think it would be able to slide. I think I know it's kind of like a flat ring is it on the aura I know I've seen it on some wheel that is it's almost like a, a very flat ring like a black one but it could be another wheel 
okay so we are uh, getting close to the part where i had added the um, orange silk hanky glaze yeah send me a photo and that will be much more clearer then Yeah, there is no saving this yarn. We have tried everything. We have put Christmas lights on it. We have auto wrapped it. Uh, very soon, we'll get to a section where I actually um, oh, this is so ugly. <laughs> It's so ugly, it's funny. It's like it, it's it's beyond saving anything now. It has everything thrown in it. It's like a thick wiring. Yeah, it is this hoop, right? This is the one which, like, everything gets caught up here and the yarn doesn't go through. And then I have to kind of ease it through here. And then through here also it goes. And it's big enough. It's just that it's a thin wire. I think if it was, like, a flat surface or, you know, kind of a rounded surface where it could just turn around, it might be better. But that thin wire thing it always gets me and i posted i think either on one of the facebook groups or somewhere if anyone had a solution oh i'm going in the wrong direction that doesn't help that would be one way to make the yarn even more weird Oh, see, this is where it gets stuck. And then I forget which direction I was going. So it's a big tail, yeah, it's open. Yeah, I've seen the Delta big tail kind of uh, things. I've seen a lot of Susie's videos and I do envy the wheel, that's for sure. Did you just send me a picture? Yes, you did. So that's the delta entering in. But see, yours is also a thin wire. But I... Hmm. Where have I seen the flat one? Is it on your magpie? Where it's like a black flat ring. I've seen it on some wheel. Because I think that thin wire will kind of might create the same issue of going back on the wheel. Maybe you can 3D print me something. <laughs> Because I've tried tape and I've tried doing stuff on it. it. But because of the tension and all that stuff, everything just comes off. It needs to be something that just stays there. Yeah, there's just too much of this back and forth I have to keep doing. Which is not fun. See, it just encourages to make a lot of ugly yarn. And we know we don't want that. So 
actually waiting to the point. Have we reached the orange glaze? I think we have. Yeah, I can see the orange glaze here. And maybe the rest of this section is all with the orange glaze. Yeah, it has a lot of twist in it. So. I need to get an aura to play with. That's for sure. Should I go? Uh, it's not. It's not working. Oh. Yes. This. This yarn is beyond crazy. So. I tried one of Susie's tricks on this <laughs> to do a. Uh, silk uh, hanky orange glaze over it so that's what I'm spinning right now the section that I did to the orange glaze on so it overall has has evened out the color a little bit which is what I was hoping for but clearly still not gonna save it from the ugliness so moral of the story if you start with a very ugly bat there's a pretty good chance you'll make some pretty ugly yarn I'm not going to blame anyone for making that bat except for myself because I made that bat. I made it as ugly as I could. Expecting to make the most amazing yarn. How dumb is that? just behaving any which way it wants which is fine this yarn is a lost cause it'll be great for sari weaving this is maybe what I should give to you Evanita they should <laughs> they should drive you away from sari weaving instantly <laughs> Do some sour weaving. See, it'll be the best yarn for sour weaving. You will see. 
I'm at the end of this madness. This yarn refuses to even go on the bargain now. It's just going like, I'm too ugly for this. So, don't make me go there. And you know what I'm going to do now, next with it, I'm going to felt this guy. <laughs> because I've had it with him. Yes, this is definitely a he. It's a very ugly he yarn. <laughs> oh, how creative. There, cut it with a scissor since it doesn't want to even get off the bobbin. This is a very super ugly yarn, which I need to photograph first because it's so beautiful. Ooh, two more patterns and then you can do whatever you want. I love that. I th um, The class I had taken on Craftsy or made us make, you know, it was a sampler thing in which we did different patterns of twill. Uh, not kind of like the ones that you're doing. After that, I took a Judith McKinsey class in which I did a bunch of samplers and that was fun. Um, but yeah, so anyway, this is, this is it. Is it, is it nicely ugly or does it need to be more ugly? I am going to put it on my nitty naughty because I, well, I said like I want to photograph it before I turn it into the next level of ugly. So watch out for my Instagram feed for a lot of ugly yarn pictures. Yes, Judith McKenzie's class was awesome. And actually the class I took with her was um, on double weaving. And I had just started weaving and I was like, okay, there is double weaving is going to be like way beyond complex for a very beginner weaver. Uh, so we did the basics of, uh, we did a double weaving uh, thing, we made a sampler, it was a five day workshop, so there was a lot of information there, what am I doing here? Uh, so, but the cool thing was that, um, since it's five days and you're weaving, uh, you know, Judith is such a huge wealth of information. <coughs> So she, you know, we talked about spinning, we talked about other kinds of weaving, and then I made, you know, then after we are done with the double weaving project, then I made a sampler, then different ways of warping the board, the just tons and tons of information. Okay, you know what? Honestly, after going on the nitty naughty it actually doesn't look that bad <laughs> it it's kind of crazy but it i don't know i'm kind of like falling in love with it a little bit maybe because i spend way too much time with it what is it called the stockholm syndrome 
I think that's what it is. I'm falling in love with this ugly yarn. This super ugly yarn. felt it yeah I think once it goes into the sauri weaving it'll be fine but uh, I definitely want to try felting it or maybe felting it a little bit just so that it kind of becomes cohesive in a way I know that's a weird thing to say if like it's already all over the place. Um, so Diana and I have been chatting about other kinds of yarns and she had shown me some of the yarns which she felted on purpose, art yarns, and they just totally transformed it. And I actually like them a lot because you know, all that crazy fuzziness and everything kind of um, got a lot better in a way and made the yarn and like, you know, the goal out here is to make this yarn as ugly as I can. So this might be the perfect project for it. Let's make this ugly. Right. So where should I put two more? Uh, I should maybe do. There's one not there. There's one not there. Let's do one here. Uh, I'm off screen because I'm tying my figure eights on, on my yarn. Yeah, let's start one here maybe. Um, because since I do plan to felt it, uh, I don't want it to become a tangled mess as well. That will make it super ugly. So anyway. So is it the worse or what? Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Going to felt it now. Thank you for watching. Bye, Avanita. And I look forward to seeing your weaving and your experiments further on. In the rest of it, that's what you should do. You should stick in weird stuff in it and see how satisfying it is. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.